In this video, I will show you how I invented the PewPyPlex, which is a push to pick and place extension for my 3D printer. In my previous video, I placed manually with professional vacuum pickup tool 81 LEDs onto my LED matrix board that took me around 20 minutes. What do you think? Is my invention can make the job done quicker? Let's find out. <laughs> This video was sponsored by PCBWay, who also provided the required PCBs and stencil for this project. I really like the silk job and the soldering pads quality. If you need custom PCBs or even 3D prints, check out their website in the video description. We need basically three things to pair from this task. First is a positioning device, in our case that is the 3D printer. Second, suction cup that can grab the parts. Here we can use the same as the commercial pick and place machines. And third, building up and releasing suction. I wanted to have something simple that not requires any additional electrical wiring or external vacuum pump. It is cheap and lightweight so that the 3D printer can move it around without any hassle. Considering all of these, I have ended up by the syringe, which can produce suction with linear motion. Now we just have to solve the problem how to operate it with the 3D printer. I have spent several days by thinking how to solve this issue, when finally one night my brain just spit out the solution. The funny thing that I use this mechanism every day. It was in front of my eyes. How your brain works. After measuring the closed and open state lengths of this push to open mechanism, I launched the Fusion 360 and designed the adapter part for it. During the design process, I would like to thank Autofull for sending me one of their gaming chairs, which helps me to work more convenient. Their chairs has a lot of customization options and if you feel tired, you can even sleep in it links also in the description. So now that the model has finished, time to 3D print it. A quick assembly and we finished. No, just kidding, I also made an assembly montage for you. Test results are really promising. What do you think? Can it handle this 35 gram PCB? I borrowed this design from the Prusa printer, which uses the same method to connect to the timing belt. It makes the installation really easy and as you can see, even multiple pupiplexes can be installed to the X gantry simultaneously. To be honest, this design was not a success for the first try. I run through multiple iterations until I end up with this one. And finally, it is time to test it. I have also designed a jig for the PCB and the LED chips, 
which is held by four neodymium magnets on the spring steel sheet of the 3D printer. To generate the G-code for the pick and place movements, I tricked the Prusa slicer with small cylinders, switched on the complete individual objects so it prints them one after each other, set up a Z-lift to 22mm and turned off all heatings. There is also a custom start G-code which I explain in a minute. By running the simulation, the printhead moves as I wanted. By writing a custom G-code for the start, I am able to position the jig perfectly before starting the pick and place process. first LED is in place. How cool is that? Let's see if the other 80 LEDs will be the same. all 81 LEDs in place. Yeah! And the positioning itself looks really decent. For the second board let's measure the time it needs to be finished. Now we can see if it can beat my 20 minutes manual position time. A professional pick and place machine would finish probably under 20 seconds, but this one is still almost two times faster as placing them by hand and also much more entertaining to watch. But the feeling that I made it and it works, that's the best. And how good it works. I placed 405 LEDs without any issue. After the reflow process we can check the solder joints, which are not perfect, but they all worked good after I tested them. I don't know yet what should I make with these boards, maybe a display or an LED cube would be interesting. Give me some ideas in the description and we will see. By the way, that's how an addressable LED looks from closer. I hope you enjoyed this little journey at least as much as I am and learned something new. If you would like to support my work, you can subscribe to my channel or be my patron to help me deliver such videos in the future. For now, thank you for watching and see you next time. <laughs>